Hey everybody, welcome back to the Professor's Dugout. I hope you are having a great day. Today's video um, is a short one. It's going to actually be, since I already did my uh, Sunday mail day video, but um, over the weekend, uh, yesterday, I went to a card show down in, down in Tampa, Florida called the Bay Area Sports Cards and Collectibles Show. Um, it's been going on for quite a while. This is my first time there. Um, just wanted to show, uh, give my thoughts, a couple minutes of my thoughts and show my pickups. Um, so, uh, nice little show. Um, good, good local, you know, for, for local collectors. Um, a little crowded, uh, not in terms of like, number of dealers, but just the way they had it laid out, it was really cramped in that room. So I only spent a couple hours there. I would have liked to have spent a lot longer, but between the parking situation there, uh, it's held at like a banquet hall, and the um, just how everybody was kind of cramped in for not a ton of dealers, or maybe 20 dealers or so. Um, that was, it was a little disappointing. A lot of retail there. So, you know, I've always wondered where, where are all the blasters in Florida going? Uh, they're apparently showing up at this, uh, this, this, uh, card show. So, uh, for those of you who are able to pick that like, uh, retail blasters, definitely a place to go. Um, prices on individual cards were a little bit on the high side. You know, either priced at or slightly above eBay. I even saw some stuff that was way over eBay. Um, unfortunately, not a lot of people were willing to to work out deals, so I didn't pick up mu uh, much. Actually, I only picked up one card, um, and that is this uh, Josh Lowe uh, rookie patch auto, jumbo patch auto out of uh, 2022 stop, Tops Inception. This is the blue parallel, which is numbered out of 10. I actually picked this up for uh, like I mean, 100 bucks. That's a great price. I think he's going to be a pretty good player overall. Um, and it's a good pickup considering uh, where, uh, you know, the price of the Rays. So it's so collecting like Vidal Bruhan or Josh Lowe. It's kind of difficult. Um you know, especially if you want to pick up, um, you know, if you're chasing Wander, that's one thing. But if you're chasing Vidal Bruhan or maybe some Josh Lowe, it might be better just to wait it out on the on the singles market. And being able to pick up this one, which kind of has three colors, uh, nice, uh, I believe this is the part of the Rays R that kind of scripts underneath right here. If you kind of look at it a little bit, I think that's where this part is from. So that's a nice looking card overall. Um, I'll probably go back to that. Uh, maybe not. I guess they hold it like once every month or every other month. Um, so maybe I'll, I'll try to go every once in a while. Probably not every time it's, it's open. Hopefully they expand the space a little bit, make it a little less crowded for people to walk through. It's really difficult to walk through in some places. But... This is a nice little pickup from that show um, for seemingly, uh, I think, a really low value given its its low number. So how do you think, what do you think of this pickup? Have you been going into any local shows now that stuff's pretty much fully back open? Feel free to leave a comment below. Hit that like and subscribe button right down there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Continue to stay safe out there. And I will see you later.